Now that we're safe on the bike, let's eat. Dave from Wegmans came in with a gorgeous spread. Tell me everything that we have going on here. Yep, uh, this is the best of the season. Uh, everybody th thinks uh, peaches and nectarines for this summer, and I've got a little special side thing here, but peaches are the hot thing this summer and nectarines. Uh, most people come in and they're looking at their peaches and nectarines, trying to figure out what the ripeness level is of them and such. Well, what you'd be looking for inside would be a, a nice bright yellow color in either your peaches or your uh, nectarines. You want them bright yellow, clean on the outside. The nectarines should be smooth with little or no damage on them, uh, and they hold up really well. Uh, people come in and they'll look at their peaches and nectarines and uh, they'll feel them and they'll think they'll be a little hard or a little too soft or whatever. Everybody's got their preference, but actually they're ripe when they're picked and they hold up for a couple weeks or so. So they're, they're, they're very good, hearty fruit. Uh, what, what people are actually looking at is uh, their fruit level that they like how they want it soft or harder consistency. Like you said, you like yours a little on the harder side. Some people like a little on the softer side, but either way, they're ripe when they're picked. If you want them a little softer, you can put them in a brown paper bag and they'll soften up in a couple days. All right. um, from there, we have our white flesh peas. Uh, and nectarines, those have a white consistency to the inside of them. Those are also very low in acid, so they're high in sugar. They're actually a little bit sweeter than a regular uh, peach or a nectarine. So if you're, if you're looking for something low sodium, low salt, you'd probably want a peach or a nectarine. Otherwise, white flesh peaches are a little bit better eating. They're sugary. Uh, they taste very good. Sweet. If you've got a sweet tooth, they'll satisfy it. Can I ask you about these? This yep. is something that you said is one of your favorites. Yep. The color, you said, turns people off, but show them the inside. A lot of people look at these. There's actually over 100 varieties that are called plum cots mm -hmm. and they're actually a, a genetic cross between a plum and an apricot and uh, they come in a wide variety of colors so you look at this one it's kind of green on the outside and it looks a little pitted or whatever you look at the inside and they are bright red they're delicious looking it very juicy really like high in antioxidants they're very healthy for you and they're, they're just fantastic eating for about the next month or so if you, if you like a plum these are like plums on steroids are fantastic now if you think this is just a matter of going in and picking out your fruit it is there's a little bit of a science to it I'm pretty impressed so let's go over here and Explain to me what this is all about. Okay, this is our BRICS level chart. We keep one of these up in the store. Uh, what we do is on a daily basis, we check all of our current fruit that we have in and we check the sugar levels of the fruit. And what we use is what's called a, a refractometer. And all you do is you take a sample of the fruit, you're going to squeeze a little bit of the juice on the slide, and you close the slide and you hold it up to the light and you look at it. There's a meter and it'll actually measure the level of sugar that's in that fruit. And from that, we'll transfer those counts on here every day so you know what's eating really good, what's not eating so well. And you can kind of judge what you, what you like. Some people like something around a 13 or a 14, not quite as sugary if they don't like the sugar flavor. Some people like it, you know, eating like candy. So you'd go with the higher numbers. Okay, so something like the white nectarine with a bricks level of 19 is very sweet. You like eating cotton candy. It's fantastic. All right, and show everybody again. I don't think we got a shot. Hold that. Up. What is that? A what you do, this is a refractometer, and what you're going to do is you open the slide up on it, and we take each one of our fruits every day and we cut it up, and we actually squeeze the fruit, get some just of the juice on the slide. You close the slide here and you hold it up to the light. If you want to take a look up into the light, you're going to see there's a little meter in there, oh, yeah. and it's going to tell you a level, and that's the actual sugar level of the fruit. That's so interesting. It's 20. 20. So very sugary. Sweet. Yep. Yep. Like I said, the pluots <laughs> are fantastic this time of year. And we put those counts on there so the customer can kind of gauge what they're looking for, whether they want something really sweet or a little not on the sweetness level. Usually a 14 or above is fantastic. Anything below that, we'll hold on to a, for a, a little bit and let it ripen up a little bit more because people don't like stuff on the dull side. Okay. When Dave said you can buy one of those for about 25 bucks, but if you're going to Wegmans, you can always read the daily chart. And you guys were kind enough to bring in a recipe for us, which sounds like a great summer recipe. Grilled corn. Yep. Grilled corn. Um, with black peas. Uh, it's on our website. Uh, the corn's coming in. We're getting it from our, uh, not local, but our Delaware farmer right now, and it's eating very well. We have white and bicolor corn today. So uh, it's, it's fantastic product. Our homegrown corn, because of the heat and the weather, it's put off for another couple weeks. But uh, this gentleman in Delaware has got fantastic corn, so it's, it's terrific. All right, visit David Wegmans. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thanks for coming in.